Oh no, no, run. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Actually Let's Talk About It with me, your host Lily. And today, y'all, I'm going to be reacting to a different kind of drama. Y'all used to K-dramas, but this time I'm going to react to a Thai drama. And this is like the first Thai drama that I've reacted to in months. Okay, I think the last Thai drama that I reacted to was Moonlight Chicken on the channel. And that was months ago. But yeah, y'all, yeah, like, I heard that Win Meta Win, like, he has a new show called Enigma. And I wanted to wait until there were enough episodes out. And I think there's currently, like, three episodes out right now. But I just wanted to get into it. I was like, I don't want to wait anymore. Because I was already intrigued when I first saw the teaser trailer. And the actual trailer came out. And so, yeah, y'all, we're going to get into it. But we're just going to give you some background. So the Enigma, basically the summary of the show, is very brief because I'm getting it from my drama list. So it just says that there's something wrong with Fa's high school. So strange events have been happening around her. In which way are they related to the new teacher, Ajin? Okay, so we're gonna see what exactly is gonna happen here, okay? But yes, yeah, so as you know, Win is in this show. We love him. If you don't know who he is, he is a very talented um, young Thai actor. And he was previously in like Together and the series. And that was like a BL. And then he, he was in another um, drama as well. Like a couple of other dramas as well. Okay. So like since Together, the series, and then it's sequel kind of show and movie. He's been in F4 Thailand, Boys Over Flowers, you know, Devil Sister, Good Old Days. And then now he's in Enigma. So all GMMTV productions. So, you know, he's been busy. He has been busy, okay? Since we first were introduced to him as an actor. So I'm really happy for him here. But yes, so he does play the teacher that is Ajin. Ooh, I don't want to butcher this. I'm just say Ajin because I don't want to butcher it because, you know, Thai names are, sometimes they're easy for me to pronounce and sometimes they are hard. So I'm hoping I'm not butchering nobody's name. And then our woman lead here, okay, is Prim. Chanakan, I believe that's how you say her name. I hope I'm right on that. And she's playing Fa in a short for Farinda. And then we do have supporting roles, and that's Pip Pip uh, Piploy, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Kanye Rot. And she's playing Namsin. And then you have Praheen Surias. Or Sir I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. And she plays Yiwa or Yiha. Iwa. Maybe it's Iwa. Maybe. And then we have Ern Priyapat and she's playing Calhoun. So we're gonna see. We got a lot of women here. I like to see that because GMMTV up here they've been a little bit stingy with the women in major roles. So I'm glad that we're seeing a lot of women here and this is kind of like a mystery. It's horror. It's supernatural. Suspense kind of a drama y'all. So it's going to be good. I'm excited to see what this show has in store for us here. So we're going to get straight into it. So uh, before we get straight into it, we're going to give the patrons on Patreon their shout out here. So the first patron shout out does go out to Keisha L. The second patron shout out does go out to Renaya Shannon. And the third and final patron shout out does go out to Moon Zule. I want to thank you all so much for your support on the Patreon. It is so very much appreciated. And y'all, without further ado, we are going to get into enigma and if you are watching this on youtube it will be like a shortened version of my reaction the full version will be on patreon and you'll be able to see that because i will make sure i make episode one public like i do with all of the series that i react to but i'm not really sure how to get permission from gmmtv to react to their shows in full on youtube so at the moment it's going to be like a cut down version of the show y'all okay because they was copywriting me real bad, which is why I have not been able to react to anything on GMMTV on this channel, but hopefully they don't do that here. But yeah, y'all, we're going to get straight into this reaction and just see what it's going to do here. Because I am excited for this series, especially because Wynn is in it. So let's go. <laughs> Is she shredding her? Y'all, what? Was she? Is she shredding her nail? 
Cause you know what, y'all? Thailand gonna give us like, cause like my favorite type, like in the horror genre, my favorite type of movies and shows to watch come from Thailand or from China. Cause it's something about the lore that they wrap into these series and these movies that just make it special. Like it's not even just regular westernized horror movies. It actually has like a purpose, a teaching behind it. And it's related to cultural deities and gods and spirits as well. Like I'm interested to see how this is all gonna play out. But why is Homegirl doing this? <laughs> Oh, oh, what, what, why did she do that to the teacher? Oh my God, what, oh girl, are you inviting the door? You know that's your business, honey, that's your business, that's your business, I'm not judging you, sweetie, you know. Maybe you learn, but oh, mm, could be me. Now, what are the odds that this man would be coming right when she cut herself? I'm so suspicious of this man, even though it is when. I don't trust his character here. I, I don't trust him. What are these questions, sir? But she cut herself. Did it heal itself? He got powers, y'all. Did she got powers? Because as soon as he pressed it, it's the cut healed itself. He said, just wash your hands. This man is so suspicious, y'all. It is so suspicious already. So suspicious. I'm a Ooh. Ooh, y'all. I apologize for the amount of times I'm pausing it, but what he is saying here, what Ajin is saying here, is very much correct. Because you can be as academically intelligent as you want to be, but if you don't have any social skills, you don't have any other hobbies, you will not succeed the way that you should or could if you had those chances for social interaction. Because you could be book smart and not people smart. If you are not people smart in most careers, you will not last in them because it goes beyond the intelligence that you learn in the classroom. You have to be able to wager how, what you've learned in the classroom and how to apply to real life situations with real life people, real life emotions, real life situations at stake. And most people who just stick to being book smart can't read people well enough to determine that. And that's what he's saying, that the school has failed them in that regard. And I wholeheartedly agree, okay? It's just like when you do a college application here in the States, you can have all straight A's, 4.0, 4.2, 4.5. And if you have no hobbies, no extracurriculars, no, no kind of social presence or community impact included in that application, you can have the highest test scores on the SAT or the ACT, which is what we use here in the States, and the highest GPA. But if you are lacking in those social areas, in those hobby areas, in that community outreach area, it won't be a well, round, a well rounded application. And you, nine times out of 10, will be denied because the average person that is applying doesn't just have the academics and the good test scores. They have the community outreach, they have the volunteerism, they have the social impact in their community. And they're including that in their college application. Whereas you just have the academic portion. And that's nice and that's fine and that's wonderful. But it's just one aspect. It's one piece of the pie, and they're looking at the full 100%. And like you said, right now, all you have is 50. It's not going to measure up when you're trying to compete with people, not just in your state and in your city, because we have states and cities in the states, but in, let's say, your region, whether it be the West, the East, the South, the Midwest, or in the country. And that's not even including the international students that will apply at schools in the states. So it's really going to lessen the impact of your application that way. So I'm glad that he's saying this because it's so important to remember academics are not everything. They are just one piece of the pie. And there's so many other additional things you need to have to become a well-rounded individual. And your grades are not everything. I love that.
I love how you saying it. Mm-hmm. He's an actor. He an actor, all right. I'm glad that they're pointing it out here because it does need to be acknowledged that there are people, not just in like schools or things like that, but there are people who present themselves a certain way that have ulterior or underlying motives behind the way that they act. He pretends to be clumsy and clueless. He pretends to be this way. There's nothing stupid about Ajin. There's nothing clumsy about him. There's nothing there is nothing that is what he is presenting to the students and the teachers at that school that is his actual self. It is all an act he puts on so that people aren't suspicious about what he actually does. And I'm like, smart, but she caught on to him. So I'm wondering how this going to go. So that's her in the other world. Oh, well, like the way that it cut in home, Homegirl was in another place, like in her undergarments, like at the top portion of the pool, ready to take a dive into it. What happened to her? And what does that mean? Does that mean she dove into her other self? And is this kind of like what Jordan Peele did with us, where they have their tethered? Like they have their tether where there's somebody in another universe behind the mirror that they're tethered to, but that person isn't good. I'm like, because that's kind of what it's giving a little bit, but I'm going to keep watching. But y'all, that's I wanted to throw that out there because that's what I'm thinking. Oh, but it's going to be good. I can't wait. That was smart. But not in your nightclubs. Like, girl, at least dress warmly. But is it, it's hot in Thailand. So never mind. What? So they both hearing their voices? Y'all, like, this is risky business, what she's trying to do here, but it's the fact that they both heard the same voice at the same time. And not him having runes and or sigils on his body which are known to channel or call on certain beings, supernatural beings that be, to channel their energy through you in the form of power, like magic. So that's what's on his body. That's what they're obviously trying to do. But it's definitely either a rune or a sigil. And it's used in various different cultures. But I'm like, I was recognizing a few of those. They're like, basically, it opens you up to be more spiritually in tune to where you can use energies around you to manipulate your surroundings, thus magic. So I'm like, that's interesting. Okay, I see you GMMTV doing your research here. Oh no, no, run. Girl, can you jump a gate? Can you jump a gate? Can you jump a gate? It's time for you to climb, girl. Scale it. Get up there and climb over it. Oh, it's not the teacher. The teacher got him. Definitely really happened. It definitely really happened. But how is she going to prove it is the question. Mm. Mm. Now she done caught you in a lie, sir. Is she going to want to know the answer? She said I never said anything about a dream. Mm. Our girl's a detective. That's all I'm gonna say. Our girl is a detective. Hmm. Bravo. Okay, all I'm gonna say right now, don't mess with Fa. 
don't mess with Fa because she said I may be hearing things and I may be seeing things that technically people be saying is not there but one thing I'm gonna do because I'm way too intelligent is I'm gonna get that photographic evidence I'm gonna get that video camera evidence and what did our good what did our good sis do she got that evidence he can't lie his way out of this he can't lie his way out of this he gonna have to come clean Mr. Teacher gonna have to come clean because you've been lying and you think nobody been watching. But our good sis Fa, she peeps his game. And she wants to just know, what the hell are you doing here? Are you causing these instances? Are you here to try to protect people from these instances? One way or another, you know what's going on and you ain't being truthful. But I'm going to get the truth out of you today. And I love her for this. Ooh, come on now. The hell? You can't do this to your student, sir. You can't do that to your student. I hope you know that. You can't do that to anybody, actually, you know. Unless it's consensual. Anyway, comma. What is he doing? Is he gonna try to exercise something out of her? Oh, damn. Oh, y'all, 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 this is a what? This is a what? 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 Okay, y'all, like this, this, wow, 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 wow. I am shocked, flabbergasted, if you will. Um, I was not expecting it to be that good. Okay, I was not expecting GMMTV to come out the gate and it be that good. Okay, let me be for real. I was not expecting GMMTV, and I will say that one more again, to come out the gate and it be this good. Okay, was not expecting it. Was not expecting it, but I am pleasantly, and I do mean pleasantly surprised because wow, wow, wow. This is only the first episode, y'all. I am so intrigued by this storyline. So somebody at the school, somebody at the school, y'all, is dabbling in black magic and is trying to basically weed out the competition by making them go insane or causing them to hurt themselves. And she was about to be next. Fa, our girl, was about to be next. If teacher Ajin hadn't come in, she would have been gone. She would have been possessed by something that would have made her hurt herself. Uh, Y'all, I thought it was simple spirit possession, but not somebody dabbling in the dark arts. In the dark arts to do this to people. They are putting multiple curses on people because he said he's lifted all the curses off of Fa. That meant that they put multiple ones on her at one time. You know how sadistic you gotta be and how talented you gotta be to put that many curses on one person? Like y'all, this, this this is good. This is this, oh, this, this show is good because there might not be people who like dabble in the spirituality but i am one of those people who believe in the spirituality because i come from like people an ancestry of people who are what some would call pentecostal christians so they believe in spiritual gifts and powers that you have and you know it did not skip my generation at all it kind of hit all of us as well so it just manifests in different ways but seeing that portion of spirituality specifically the way they define it here is magic but seeing that and then also knowing that there's people who are black like me in the south in the southern united states who also are from new orleans specifically who have long 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 ancestries who are a part of what could be considered magic and spirituality practices. So seeing this in Thailand's version of it is really interesting. It's gonna give a lot of insight into Thai culture around spirituality and spiritual gifts or slash curses, slash magic and magical curses, etc. etc. It's gonna be interesting to see where they go with this storyline 
because oh it's good it's getting good okay i'm rooting for fa to be safe and the safest place for her is with that teacher ajin do i trust his motives not necessarily but i do know he's not a bad guy i kind of assumed that he wasn't but that he knew more than he was letting on and it's the fact that the reason why fa was so adamant about her own protection and finding out the truth was because she knew she was next and i'm like wow the fact that she had that much foresight to know that they were going in order of who the highest rank in the class and basically tearing down the competition genius genius on her part but yeah y'all that is that is my reaction to enigma episode one this is going to probably be one of gmm tv's best shows that they've come out with in a minute outside of bls because those are their own different category but here like in terms of a non-bl drama this has to be one of gmm tv's best thought out ones that they've done in a while because i've tried to get rock with a few of them and they just wasn't hitting but this one here mm, they need to keep doing what they're doing all the way through i don't know how many episodes we're gonna get of this show but they need to keep doing what they're doing because this right here the acting y'all when i don't even call him when at all he is in this in this role as this teacher he is mr ajin he is teacher okay he is not win mental win here okay nah nah he is deep in his acting bad and our good sister plays fa hmm she is giving she is giving i'm curious to know who the person is that she's speaking to both in the beginning of this episode who that person was because i have a feeling that that person might be behind it all i have a feeling but i'm not sure but i have a feeling that that person is behind it all but i don't know who that person is so yeah y'all that is my reaction to enigma episode one and if you all have made it all the way to the end of this video i want to thank you so much for watching and if you are watching this on youtube and you are a subscriber i want to thank you so much for subscribing to the channel your support is so very much appreciated and if you're watching this on youtube and you have yet to subscribe to the channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also, if you're watching this on Patreon, I thank you so much for being a patron. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to be back soon with more reactions to Enigma because y'all this show, y'all this show. Ooh, it's, you know, it's going to keep you guessing. It's going to keep you guessing till the very end. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Mm. But yeah, y'all, I will see y'all in the next reaction or the next revisit or the next other video I post on the Patreon or the YouTube. But until then, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.